beautiful friends. Welcome to my Minimalist Monday video series. This video was originally recorded live on Facebook, so you'll have to excuse the little black bars on the side because I didn't figure out until a few weeks in how to turn my camera, but I'm gonna be doing a KonMari of my entire house, and that means a huge declutter. I hope you'll come along for the ride. Let's get started. Hey friends, how are you? Got the sun coming in at a weird angle. It's Laura, welcome to Minimalist Monday. Today I am going to do my fridge and pantry. We're taking a little bit of the deviation from the KonMari schedule. If you guys watched last week, I am supposed to be on papers this week, but I decided to skip over and do the fridge and the pantry because two things. One, they're pretty empty, so a good time to do to declutter and clean those is when right before you go to the grocery store. And second is next week I'm kind of doing a detox and switching to more plant-based eating and I'm going to kind of separate my, my whole family's not doing this. So the kids are still going to eat like not vegan, um, but I'm going to kind of go vegan. And so I'm kind of interested in separating out my food to be more okay for next week and not so okay for next week. So um, we're going to start with the fridge and the freezer. It's dirty, so you're gonna, you're going to have to give me a break here. It's dirty. But the first thing you want to do, again, when you're doing anything like KonMari, is you're going to clean it all out and put it all in one location so you see what you have. So I'm going to go through and pull everything out um, and, and get rid of the things that I know I don't want, like soy sauce packets that are very old. I'm checking for things that may be expired or no longer good. Lime juice, I'm thinking, yeah, what, what do I not use anymore or what's bad here? And if you can't find a date on it, then I usually get rid of it. Yeah, okay, so we got Hershey's syrup. That's for the kids. <laughs> This is homemade applesauce. And I'm also checking my mystery containers to make sure, see like this one, does not look good anymore. So this is gonna go in the sink, cause we all have mystery containers as well, right? That are in there and we don't have any idea how they got there. So I'm gonna do one section at a time and then I'm gonna clean that section and then I'm gonna put everything back. This is this weird, um, weird hot sauce thing that um, the kids and I made and I'm sure it's, Actually, it's probably acidic enough to be okay, but I'm gonna get rid of that. Uh, by the way, I love putting things in mason jars with these awesome lids. They are great for storage. I try to store all of my, oh, more ketchup. I try to store all my stuff in glass containers. Okay, so now I've got the door completely clean, and while I have it clean, I mean completely out, and so while I have it empty, now's the time to take advantage of cleaning it also. So we're gonna go to the main part of the fridge and then I'm gonna clean it. This is homemade elderberry syrup, which I hate this container. It's got this really annoying top. It's a WEC glass container. I like the bottle, hate the top. So I've got another one coming. We'll switch that into there and I actually need to make more. This is coconut water that's been back there for a, a very, very long time. So we're gonna throw that out. Now, when I look at my fridge too, I look and see what I can feed my chickens. This is one benefit of having chickens is anything that's bad, you can feed to your chickens because they literally eat everything. So I'll have a pile, a separate pile for chickens. I don't feed them like condiments, but you know, with regular food. So this avocado, for example, way overdue and I will feed that to my chickens. They will love it. Makes me feel a little less guilty about not eating all the food in time. This is our lone egg <laughs> from the chickens. It's one, the only one. Um, they are starting to lay again, which is awesome. This is seeds. So somebody once told me to store seeds in your refrigerator that it makes them last longer. So, hey, they've been in there for a while, but I'll put them back in there. All right, so empty fridge onto the freezer. See, we have a boo-boo pig for boo-boos. Okay, frozen eggs. So these are the, some more eggs from our girls. And um, we saw a video, I saw a video online about um, if the eggs are cracked, you can still use them because they were cracked because we left them out there too long and they were frozen because it was freezing. And you can still use them, this, you use them in things and like not for a scrambled egg or something like that, but a, a, in a recipe you can and you just 
rinse them off and defrost them right before you need them and you can use them like you would any other egg. So we're we're keeping those. I did I did use one already. One of my children must have put this back in here. I think there might be one kernel left. This is hilarious. <laughs> it's basically totally empty. And they put it back in the fridge. So I also when I'm organizing Try to organize by categories, and you'll see this when I put everything back. Whenever we have things that are like going to go bad, like bananas, I always put them in a bag and freeze them and put them in smoothies so that they don't go bad. I'm going to stop this video, and then I'm going to clean, and I'll be back. Hey guys, I'm back. Hot mess. Hashtag hot mess. I got water all over my shirt. Cause let's 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 be realistic here. My hair's all out of a whack. Um, when you clean the fridge, you, you turn into a hot mess, right? So here's my pretty fridge though. It's so clean. All right, let's focus on the freezer. I want to show you how I put things back. Just like everything else, I'm grouping things like things together. So because I'm eating healthier, I'm gonna put the stuff that I would grab for, in that case, like fruits and stuff, in an easier to reach location or something that can fit it. Cause you know, we kinda had the fruit stuck at the bottom um, earlier and so I'm gonna flip things around a little bit. But here we go. Remember, I've already gone through this, so I know I know it's good. So I got my um, frozen meal type things over there. It's kind of again grouped together, would be good. Mustn't forget the boo boo pig up in the door. So there's the freezer, all back and nice. No, the outside is not yet clean. <laughs> I'll do that next. By the way, you guys might notice this list. It needs to be updated, but. I find it really helpful when you're looking for something to eat to have a list of what you already have to make. So all of these things are either already made and frozen, like leftovers, or they um, can be made. I like to um, refrigerate my breads just to have them last a little longer. So I used to have the bread in this lower drawer, but I'm actually gonna put it at the very bottom because I'm gonna put the fruits and vegetables in the fruits and vegetables drawer. How, how good is that, right? How, how about that? the door. I want to do light things like light things. So I'm looking for like all of the small stuff and I'm going to put that all on top. Um, then I'm going to look for all of the like condiment type things. Man, do I need to go grocery shopping. That is an empty fridge. So there we go. Ta-da! Clean fridge. I will clean the outside of the fridge later. I've got my pile for my chickens. And we are moving on to the pantry. Don't judge. Don't judge the pantry. Here we go. Pantry. I love this pantry. It comes out like this. It's so awesome. Let me take everything out like usual. This particular one's been open forever, so it's going to the chickens. The chickens like Cheerios. Did you know that? Chickens like Cheerios. One of my kids loves ramen noodles. This is a ramen noodle cooker. Obviously it doesn't belong in the pantry, but um, he likes to put it where the ramen noodles are. So, <laughs> so he can make it. Yeah, we have like apple trees in the back. We got like a ton of applesauce this year. A little group together by category so I'm gonna kind of do it like shelf by shelf you kind of want to put things that you're gonna need all the time in good spots right now I have all the cans and the broths and stuff like that which um, I'm gonna leave in the same spot so I'm just gonna kind of look and see what I have Sucker for beef ravioli by Chef Boyardee. Once in a blue moon, I like to eat this, but I'm trying to break myself of the habit. This is super helpful to go through your pantry once in a while before you do some meal planning because then you figure out what you get, what you have in there. All right, last shelf. Super fun. Oh, 
goodness, I didn't even know I had this. Caramel dip. Oh, I'm such a sucker for caramel dip. Just shoot me up with some, some sugar while we're at it. I'm gonna keep them just for a special treat. Very empty pantry except for the middle shelf. So I'm gonna put the flaxseed um, in a container, like I said, but that's pretty cleaned out now and grouped together the right way. And the last thing I have to go, to go through is my tall pantry. That's this one over here. I'll show you, it's pretty full. And, um, oh look, my son's ramen noodles. I'll put those in the, uh, in the pantry. I know. Well, I do make him eat some vegetables with it though. I, I so remember, it's like flashbacks. I remember eating ramen noodles when I was a kid too. It's kind of one of those things. Those rites of passage. All right, let's see what we got in here. This is my favorite seasoning of all time, this organic sprinkle. Oh my gosh, it's like on everything. For another day because they are their own little category I think and I have a spice cabinet that I actually want to redo so I'm gonna stay with the spices but here you go there's the revised pantry and I've got a couple things that I'm gonna put in jars and a couple things that go to the chickens and a whole lot of stuff that went thrown away thanks for joining me today guys for minimalist money I'm gonna go feed my chickens all their goodies because they're excited to have all this yummy stuff coming to them and who knew they like Cheerios I don't know how long that bag of Cheerios has been in there though so it's out of here. Have a great one, guys. Talk to you soon.